Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle and thank you guys so much for joining today. Of course, we are going to talk about the Louis Vuitton price increase. Didn't I just do this video in April of last year? Yes, yes I did. The last big price increase when the prices increased from about 10 to 12 percent. Now, at that time, the price increases were happening every six months, when in previous years, previous to the pandemic, Louis Vuitton would increase their prices every two years, once every two years, and then they went crazy and started to increase the prices every six months. Now, 2022, this must be the biggest price increase I've ever seen in terms of percentage of increase, and also the number of styles across the board that are now so much more expensive. Okay, sorry, this might be a little bit of a rant video too. So what is going on? First of all, my name is Michelle and thank you so much for being here. I'm a former client advisor. So the reason I make a lot of these videos is to dispel a lot of the myths that people believe of Louis Vuitton because of social media or things that they might assume. So last year, the assumption was because of all the price increases, the production of Louis Vuitton is putting more time and care and quality into your bag and that, my friends, is not true. There are only a few people lining their pockets with this price increase and those are the execs at the top, Mr. Bernard Arnault, the CEO. Anyways, I know from social media, a lot of you complain the bag is getting less and less quality. And yes, it is being more mass produced. We can talk about that in another video. That is a whole nother Oprah. Now, having owning some vintage bags myself, I do, I can attest the quality of my vintage bag is like none other above and beyond what you get now. So now let's talk about what you all want to know, the price increase. There are too many bags to list in this video. So let's just talk about those popular ones that everyone asks me questions about over and over. We all know the most social media popular bag is the Pochette Matisse. The Pochette Matisse went from 2360 to 2570. That is an increase of 25%. Holy crap, you guys. Okay, excuse me, I'm on a bit of a rant because when I sold this bag, it was 1890. <laughs> so, Last year, the price increase, the company claimed it was to cover pandemic losses. This year, an article actually came out on February 14th or 15th from Forbes claiming this increase is now due to increased costs in manufacturing, production, and transportation. Okay, we all know the price of gas has gone up. The price of materials has likely gone up. There's a lot to do in the um, supply chain of the bag, but the last I check, I am not an economist. What's that word? Economist? <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> okay, so some of the stores, some of the grocery items I pay for have gone up 20%, but I believe most inflation this year has gone up 9.8%. I saw that number somewhere, but not 25%. Okay, anyhow, come back down to earth, Michelle. Alrighty, so also what you do not know, what I did state in my video last year, but I know a lot of you are new to me, that last year the commissions for the sales associates were cut. Again, huge reason I do this channel is to dispel the myths because people thought, if you work for Vuitton, you're selling these expensive bags, you must be making so much on commission, you must have a huge collection. Well, last year, when the price increases occurred, I got a little tip. So the previous commission of Canvas was 0.25. Yes, 0.25, 0.25, not 25, 0.25. And this time last year, it went from 0.25 to 0.1%. 0.1% commission on Canvas. Yes, I said that right. Not only that, that's just in the US because now I have client advisors writing me from everywhere and in other countries, it is zero. 
a big fat zero, okay, you guys? So if your sales associate is getting impatient or annoyed that you've been looking at the same never full for two hours, it's because they make about $2 commission on it, take out tax, so that's like, you know, a dollar ten. It's not even enough to buy a soda when you're on your break, all right? So you guys, be considerate to your sales associate. Okay, so that's what it was last year, and I guarantee you none of them got a huge raise this year just because the prices of the bags are going up 20 to 25%. If you did, congratulations. But this is why it's a revolving door. And I get a lot of people writing me saying, my sales associate hasn't responded. Maybe they left. <laughs> well, the demands of the employee keeps going up, but if you're paying them 0.1%, uh, it's just, it's very disheartening. Okay. So um, back to what you came to this video for, the Bichette Matisse went up 25%. The Neverfull went up 20% from 1690 to 2030. These are US prices, by the way. The Neonoe from 1890 to 2030. Gosh dang it, Vuitton. I have a video about what to buy first because these are the bags that are under 2K and now they're over 2K. And I'm gonna have to redo that video. <laughs> The one bag I see uh, from my list that is still under one 2K is the Alma BB. Went from 1620 to 1760. It's a tiny little thing. I'm talking about the canvas version, you guys. So you can still get that canvas bag for under 2K. <sighs> Let's talk about some of the outrageous increases. The Cousine MM from 4300 to 5400. Hey. You want a whole $1,100 more for the same bag? Did you drop a gold bracelet in there for me? Like a gold bracelet, not a fashion jewelry bracelet. Oh, all right. Uh, the Capucines from 56.50 to 67.50. That's for the BB version, also $1,100 increase. Please know they do not dip your bag in gold. They do not dip your canvas in titanium. It's still very scratchable. It's still the same bag, just $1,100 more. Let's see, what else? The uh, mini pochette went from 540 to 745. Um, all right, I guess, you know, if you want that tiny bag energy, here you got your mini pochette for the price of what well, should be a whole bag, for the price of a whole bag, your mini pochette, mini. Mini, $745. Ouch, I remember when I sold this mini pochette for 385 just a few years ago, okay? Now, um, so as we're seeing across the board, the increase is a substantial 20% and up. Ah. All right, so I know I've said this before, but I know a lot of you are new to my channel. It was not a secret that when I work there, I mean, not a secret to the associates, maybe to the customers, but when I worked there, there was a push from corporate to sell more leather across the board. Less canvas, more leather. The goal of the whole store is to be more than 50% of sales on leather. So you could kind of justify it like if you're spending this on canvas, just put a little bit more to have a leather bag because Louis Vuitton wants to be high end. They are high end. They are the biggest luxury fashion house in the world. But they also don't want to lose their customers to Chanel and Hermes because there is that supposed hierarchy, especially if you're following social media, that hierarchy of luxury. Okay, so at the time too, they do not want to offer a bag at $1,000 and that's one of the big reasons they got rid of the canvas favorite. So if you cannot afford a $2,000 bag, maybe it is not the brand for you. Okay, I already hear you guys screaming because we hear the same complaints in the store. Why can't you make a bag for people at our level to be accessible to us? Make more bags from the $700 to $1,000 price point. And now it seems like they've jumped a whole, what do you call it? <laughs> They've jumped a whole one grand. This is just 
don't shoot the messenger because I, I work there. I'm just telling you, Louis Vuitton Corporation, they just don't want that low end customer. So somehow low end has gone from a thousand dollars to now two grand because there are people who go in there and they drop five grand. Yes, I want that cup of scenes. Yes, I want that leather bag that is 4,000. If you feel like they're pushing you out, the truth is they are because they have enough customers supporting the whole LVMH and all the other brands that they own. Not every brand has to target every single market. There aren't that many brands that do that. Maybe Target and Nike, but uh, nobody else. Louis Vuitton still wants to remain a very exclusive brand, even though they say, oh, we can, anyone can walk in here and buy anything, which is true. You can go buy a city guide. You can buy a perfume. But I'm just telling you guys, because this was the initiative when I worked there, the push away from canvas to high-end leather. Okay, that doesn't mean they are abandoning canvas to good for good because that was also the rumor they never will. But that is the reason that they cut commissions there because they want the salespeople to push the higher-end product. So there is a little bit higher commission for leather goods, fine jewelry, and perfume, but literally not that much, you guys. Like 1%, maybe two. It's really... Insulting. I think it was 3% for trunks and fine jewelry when I was there, which is still extremely low compared to every other luxury high-end brand. I'm gonna stop my rant here for a second. Um, let's do an unboxing. This is a custom item. This is from Jules from Lux Island. I am going to link all her details in the description. But she has some used items for consignments and she gave me a coupon code that you guys can use for 20% off anything and that code is dial m style oh my gosh thank you so much she sent two pairs of earrings so if you look at the website you can get the single earrings or the double she sent me one of each and these are from repurposed Vuitton materials so let's See the star of the show, the fleur. There you go. Oh my gosh, she sent me a bunch of stuff. I thought she, I really thought you were just sending me one bracelet. So there's two bracelets, and uh, you can choose on the website which one you want. Um, so to clarify, the repurposed part is the canvas. Let me put them on, and the leather is completely brand new. So you're getting a new piece of leather with that. I really like the trio because I'm more of a dainty jewelry type of person. Really, this is really a cute piece. I really like the trio. Again, the um, bracelet pieces, they are made to order. You put in your wrist measurement and then tell her if you want a trio or a single. Do check her out and I'll put the description in the video. Lastly, lastly, I am one, I'm not afraid to shop pre-loved because I don't have a lot of money, but there are a lot of people who have more money than me who use their bag for a season and then sell it. Yay for them, because that is your opportunity to buy pre-loved luxury goods. Now that is just me, if you want the peace of mind of buying a brand new bag. You know, if you go to a Vuitton boutique, it's the only place you will get a true authentic bag and then you wouldn't have to question it. If you are buying pre-loved, make sure they are authenticated. A lot of these sites like Fashion File and The Real Real um, and Poshmark, they have authenticators. And even on eBay, I see there are some authenticators offered for some of the purchases that you might make, but shop at your own risk. And it's your money, do whatever you want with it. I'm not one to judge. Just know that that extra 400, 500, $700, doesn't go to your sales associate. It doesn't go to the people who are sewing the bag. It goes to Bernard Arnault and the executives at the top to making someone else richer. That's the name of the corporate game. Okay, my rant is over. If you guys have watched to this point of the video, guys, thank you so much for joining and be sure to check out all my other videos about what it's like to work at Vuitton and all the secrets and even just answering your questions about which bag I should buy, which one is worth my money. 
Lastly, do not buy a brand, a bag, or a brand name just because you think it will make you richer, prettier, or perceived better for someone else's eyes. That is not true. Buy it for you and only you if it makes you and you alone happy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name's Michelle. Bye.